Hey YouTube, I'm on Swanton007 and I'm here with... Hey everyone, my name is Kalava Blue. Not really, but let's say it is and move on to... An Elimination ch Chamber review for 2013. Um, we're just combining the sort of thing here, we know each other and whatever. So check out his, check out his YouTube, he's going to get into a few more wrestling things recently, so... Yeah! You, you can put a link down to the bottom. I will, in the doobly-doo down below. Um, doobly-doo? Yeah, the doobly-doo, that's okay. what it's called. Ray William Johnson started that. Um, so the pay-per-view didn't really start off with this, but we had the pre-show beforehand. I watched it, Kualava didn't, so it was fairly average. You got, uh, Brodus Clay and Tensai versus, uh, uh, Sandow and, uh, Cody, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes. Like, not much happened. Cody Rhodes and Sandow came out, said they're a team again, guessing WWE didn't know what to do with them outside of the team, and I'm guessing that they need someone to hold the titles after Kane and... Daniel Bryan have started. Not much else happened in it. Uh, I'm giving it a half star. Uh, Brodus Clay and Tensai won. I'm guessing they're trying to give them a little bit of a boost as they're going through. Now, the pay-per-view started with Del Rio versus Big Show. Do you want to start off talking, Kualava? Uh Yeah, sure. Uh, do you want me to just say what I gave it first? Or? Anyway, no, just talk about it. And then... Well, Del Rio versus Big Show is one that I was actually interested in because I am one of the only people here that watches SmackDown. I watch SmackDown. It's just no, not don't. that great. Um, I, I seem to really like this match because, uh, although there was quite a big botch there, but yeah, I, I still... What was the botch? The botch was, uh, with the, the, uh, bucket, spit bucket, it was meant to be, uh, enziguri right into Big Show's head, but he missed the enziguri the first time, but he went back and did it again. Yeah. Like Apart from it. that, it was a Apart fairly that, yeah. backwards and forth, back and forth match. Del Rio won with the, uh... Cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker. Making which, Big Show tap out, which was quite unexpected. I thought, I thought that was terrible. I thought I, he should have... I thought have, it was at least unexpected. I thought it should have been DQ'd or something. Uh, it was a Big Show going over, get going under, getting job two or whatever. Who cares? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, it was back and Big forth show. match. Um, Daru didn't really work on the arm either, did he? He so, put on the cross arm breaker three times. He did it three times, match. but nothing yeah. much else really anyway. happened. So I've given that match a three stars. I gave it... Three and a quarter, I believe. You did give it three and a quarter. Yeah. So then the next match was uh, Miz, and D Miz and Cesaro. Uh, Miz came out with a arm brace on, or like a shoulder brace sort of thing from he Monday Night Raw. His bandage. Um, what, do you, what do you think about this match? I didn't mind it all that much. Uh, it wasn't great. It was, it was, it was all right. It yeah. wasn't the greatest match. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing much really happened. Yeah, not much basic match. All you wanted to do was talk about Cesaro's nipples. Yeah, <laughs> mate, they're entrancing. Uh, they're entrancing. How did it end? Uh, it ended with, uh, I don't even remember. Oh yeah, the the knee, the knee to the nuts. Oh yeah, um, and accidental. Miz got DQ'd work. with an in accidental uh, low blow. I'm guessing they're setting up for a WrestleMania match between the Lucky. two. As after the match, Miz kicked him in the nuts again. Uh, Very not, hard. Not so PG. Not anymore. as PG anymore. Um, but First I, low, low I think that match was. Uh, oh, Kualava's got two and a half here. I, I think I'll get stick with two and a half. I say that I have two and a half. Yeah, I think it's a bit. Yeah. All right. Next match: Elimination Chamber match. Um, Good that you understand what the EC there meant. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, man. You well, go ahead. You going to talk about it? Oh God, Jack Swagger won. That's. That's Jack Swagger one. Not not too bad. Good seeing a bit of a change in the main event sort of thing. Even though they won't be in the main event. You know, that'll, that'll, be the, that'll be the first match of the card. Match. Yeah. It'll be like Hopefully. Edge Del Rio again. Yeah. Um yeah, it was a pretty decent match. It started off slow, but then it worked it worked up once yeah, um, it, it, once Swagger came in it basically worked it up. Really it really did its job. It uh it started slow like a match should, like a long match should, and they really built to the end. Uh they brought it waiting for Orton to come out to make it a bit more fast paced. Yeah, but Swagger came out. He did a good job on the third person to come out. Uh, Chris Jericho and D Daniel Bryan started, and they were a bit slow. They were just trying to build the p match to come up. Mark Henry eliminated both Kane and Daniel Bryan. So yeah, that, that's something that interesting. Happened. But yeah. that was after Kane and Daniel Bryan had their little spot to uh, do their match for to do their break up, whatever. Daniel Bryan's definitely the heel, though. Um, yeah. Oh, Randy Orton went straight through the the, uh, the chamber. Yeah, Mark very Henry hard. Put, uh, Mark, Mark Henry put Orton through the chamber as a little spot as well. 
Um, so the eliminations were Daniel Bryan eliminated by Mark Henry, World's Strongest Slam. Then yeah. Mark Henry again eliminating Kane after they did their spot that we mentioned. Yeah. Then Mark Henry was eliminated Mark Henry next was eliminated when next. he cops some um, moves from... He cops a big boot from Swagger, then Code Breaker from Jericho, and then an RKO out of nowhere. And then Swagger pinned him. Um, and then Swagger you, pinned him? Yeah, Swagger oh, came over and pinned him. Um, and then you just had a bit of back and forth stuff between the others. Between um, Swagger, Jericho between and Swagger and Jericho. Randy Orton. Randy, yeah. And uh, who got eliminated next? Jericho got eliminated by an RKO. They had a pretty good back and forth between Jericho and Randy Orton for a bit. And uh, then uh, he gets RKO'd by Randy Orton, gets eliminated. And then Schoolboy pinned by Jack Swagger, which was the worst way for me to see that end. I but. thought it was good. I felt it... Um, Shows that Swagger can't quite get a clean win on any of these main event talents. Still keeps them, their like prestige up there. Yeah, well, um, well yeah, I gave it a four and four and a quarter. I've, I agree with that. with uh, Kulava yeah. thinking it's a uh, four and a quarter stars. It's the highest rated match for me for the yeah the best match of the game. night. Uh, then we've got Shield versus uh, Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback. You talk about this one. I don't give a shit about this. One. <laughs> Of course not, because I'm the John Cena fan here. Uh, yeah, so the Shield versus uh, Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback, superhero team, Team WWE, whatever you want to call it. Uh, simple uh, six-man tag match, basically. Uh, Swanton here believes it would have been better in a chamber. But Much better in a chamber. I, I, I agree with him on that, but I reckon just any kind of elimination thing would have made it better. Basically, it was a match with John Cena. Same match every time. He gets beaten down a lot by the opposing team. Then he comes back as Super Cena. And... But the Shield did end up winning. Yeah, even even though I don't really care about it, it wasn't a bad match either. They a, had some good spots. Match. Like uh, Roman Reigns spearing, was it Sheamus? Through the... Um... Through the... Uh, yeah, you missed that. Yeah, through the... Th- we better hurry up. Um, through the... Uh... Thing, uh, barricade. Shield, the barricade. Yeah, Shield had some good uh, back and forth action right. as well. Let's just they uh, get onto that one then. Um, did some tags, good some good tags. They work yeah, well. Yeah, good three way tags. Um, overall, I think we're both giving a three three point three, three point seven lines. Three three, 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 three quarters. quarters. Yeah. Um, then Ziggler came out, cut a promo, wants a match. He gets Kofi Booker T comes out, gives him Kofi. Fairly average match. Nothing Fairly special. Fairly average. I they gave just it a two. Want, yeah, I think it's a two as well. They were just trying to get us. I thought you wanted a bit more than two because it's nah. had Ziggler. They, they, they didn't do that much. It wasn't really worth the time. They were just trying to get Ziggler on the card, keeping him yeah. relevant for the pay-per-view. Yep. All right, that's a two for me. Then the Divas match, sort of. I just yeah. Caitlin. Very Caitlin versus Tamina. Had one eye on it, did, doing other stuff. I, mean, I had both eyes on Caitlin. <laughs> I'm going to give it a... Uh, I just want to give it, it a one, one star. Caitlin I gave it one and a quarter. However she won. Just for Caitlin. Um, then we got the main event. The main event, the WWE Championship match. Uh, Punk and Rock. And Punk comes out with the WWE Championship that belt. Stole. That he, he stole off of The Rock, even though he's not the actual champion, but he has to be called the People's Champion. Honestly, this match wasn't that bad. It was it was very good in my eyes. It, it, One of, better than Royal Rumble match it, that they had. Yeah, it was better than Royal Rumble match. Let's they didn't have all that bullshit in it. You know, they had the <laughs> in this match they had some stuff with the referees, but apart from that, nothing that bad. And they actually Vince en- McMahon didn't come out. Vince that McMahon was the plus. Out, yeah. Um and they didn't have any of this bullshit with um uh, like someone getting screwed or something. They did, yeah, it they was, did it was a clean win, kind of, other yeah. than the fact and it, that... And it finished with the rock bottom, you know? <laughs> with the rock bottom and the people's elbow. If you, fin- if you finish and a it, match with the, pe- with the, the people's the, elbow, the people's elbow, like they did at the Rumble, that was just... You got to mention the fact that um, CM Punk had, had the match won. He had, uh, he had rock in the GTS, and he uh, did have him pinned, but there was no uh, referee that is so, exactly at the time. Right. So, no doubt, Punk will probably say that he got screwed again. Again, due to referees. But whatever. I'm guessing that Taker will come out on Raw and give him a tombstone and they'll be setting up for that match. Hopefully. Hopefully That's it's not a triple threat. I... Anyway, um, so, main event. It was pretty damn good in my books. You would, just didn't you, like would the you give it? I gave it a four. I think, it's, I think it was worth uh, three and three quarters. I don't think it quite made that four. I gave it a four just because... I can't believe you, you're not given a, a, a punk match a four. No, God. Stop it. Uh, so what do you think of the pay-per-view overall? What would you give it out of ten? 
Uh, out of ten, oh, I don't know. Put me on the spot here. I'd say seven, seven and a half. Depends. Yeah. Depends. It's it's more two single two of the matches in this pay per view were good, or two or three of the matches were I, good. I'd say seven and a half as well. Maybe seven and a quarter. I'll decide later. You guys can see the reviews in the pa- in the the review in the doobly doo down below. Guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Con- I'm on Swanton 7 I'm Kalava Blue. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.